Francis Campbell. Francis Campbell. Thank you very much for coming along. Can I ask you your age, Francis? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, where are you from? I am. Well, where am I from? I'm Kalesha. No, yeah. no I'm living at uh, Crummer in Derry Leicester. Kalesha. 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 Yeah. And there's two Kaleshas now. There is a Kalesha up at Lawrence Church Church's Kalesha, but this is down. In the high area, it's Crummer, Dara Leicester, what they call it in the D- Kalesha district. Mm-hmm. So I'm from Crummer, Dara Leicester, 106 Cherry Valley Road. 106 Cherry Valley Road. Thank you. Um, and you're, what are you going to talk about and sort of the time period of when you're sort of, are you going to talk about from when you were like your earliest memories for me? Yeah, the earliest yeah. memories, like when I you know, was growing up. I and would be Whereabouts for young. Well, when I started for <coughs> to go up to Florence, it would have been in the, in forties. I would have been going up to an aunt of mine that lived up in the. Uh, she would have been a, a grand aunt of mine. Yes, and my mother and me used to go up to through the domain to it. So, where did you live at that time? I lived in um, I lived in Florence area. Like I didn't live in the domain end, but mm-hmm. I lived yeah. in Florence. And uh, we used to visit there. Up there. That's my first. And then she, the, he was he, her husband walked in Prostor, but that was a way back. You know, and the way we walked in the side cuttings, he was size and thing, but he had retired at this stage. But the house belonged to the Lord. That was for he had all the houses for his workers. Uh-huh. And uh, I mean, when I was going to school, I used to. Bring the rent of the house was five shillings uh, every two, uh, be five shillings uh-huh. that time, every two weeks to the pay office. On Friday, when I was going to school. And you're on a Friday afternoon, you're the less than pay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 school. Oh, no, be mostly going mm-hmm. to school, I suppose. I wouldn't have be allowed to keep it going all day. Yeah, so. end up losing it somewhere. Yeah. So, I just want to take you back to, if you can describe for me, your earliest memories of Florence Estates and life that you remember around there, um, and maybe the people and just the food, the atmosphere, the the, the, the the activities that went on in the farms and stuff. Well, uh, I would have been about, when I moved into Florence, I suppose I would have been seven or eight. <clears throat> and uh, I went to school uh, about three miles from where we lived to school through the domain. So, um, can you remember the name of the school you went to? Just Blanchford. Blanchford. Blanchford in the uh, primary school. Primary school? Time, yeah. It would have been. And then. Um, I used to, I knew all the workmen that was at Florence Street, like when I was going to school, I used to get to know them. So. But then when we, my father moved into the Hordens, that's when I went with him. I used to bring cartloads of hay for these big bullocks. The whole three, they had three big hay sheds at that time. Mm-hmm. So it's on the car park now. Mm-hmm. And uh, we used to fill it up with hay and bring it into the this big, massive big yard, about 40 cows in one big buyer, mm-hmm. and then there's a loose house, and then there's a big house down the middle with all the big fat bullocks were cows. <laughs> and we used to follow them, and the water was all in the middle of it, you know. And then uh, we'd go up to the top, we'd, my father used to make the cows for the big house, bring the, mm-hmm. the, for the house. How did he get paid? We were talking about how he got paid. Well, how my my father got paid for uh, for uh, he was looking after all the cattle and all the sheep in, in the domain, and he got a ton a ton of mail a year and a ton of potatoes, and he got he got six milking cows, and he got three calves. He only could keep three calves of mm-hmm. the six cows, and then. Um, that was the meal and the, 
Did I leave everything? He no. got the hair, hair the perfect hair. That was for all he got for pay. And then my mother kept six or seven dozen hens. And that always kept the house. Mm-hmm. So you sold the eggs off then? Sold eggs to the shops. That he was in the shops. And did your father sell the milk then? So that was yes, how he, he made a living from yeah, that and he yeah, made a living from selling the beef. What, what, what was he was allowed to keep or whatever? He sold three calves. Mm-hmm. You know, down nothing and he was allowed to keep them. And that was their salary, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, my mother then had the hens and that kept the house going and bought mm-hmm. the food for the hens. You see, and if when we were that time, there was no. If you got an egg, you put an egg cut in two between you know. For uh-huh. that time, it was everything during the war time. Everything was rationed. Everything. Had so everything. I was going to ask you about rationing. Can you remember the rationing? I mean the ration books. Uh huh. I mean the ration books, and you could only get so much, maybe a pound of sugar, maybe or half a pound of butter. It all depends on how many family you had. Everything was rationed that time, so, and you had your own potatoes, mm-hmm. you know, because you had to have them, and they were vegetables, because you could go to buy them, or the, or the sweets, you used to use the wee quarter sweets, or one or two topics. What sort of sweeties? There were toffees, you know, there was all kinds of sweets that time, compared to now, you know, they were all in jars, you know, mm-hmm. in jars, in jars, jars. And the biscuits and all were tins with glass lids on them. You know, so. Um, where did you go to get all the sweeties and stuff? In the, it was a shop, William Armstrong, Crossford. Ah. He had the shop just down the side spoon and all that. Did you get any of the Lord's sweets that he used to give to Sylvia? Mm, Sylvia used to, yeah. And who's Sylvia? That was his sister, man. That's the young, that Lord and Skin. He was dope, no, no, you know, he was, oh. oh, he was old, he came up every day on the horse and the pony, and he used to have these sweets for, and he used to bring her dolls at Christmas, you yeah, know, well, he was dope, no, no, she got thrilled when she was 12. Was she younger or older than you? She'd been younger. Younger? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, that's tragic. That's so tragic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and can you remember, like, as a, uh, what size was your family? So, how many of the were you there in your, your household itself? Seven. Seven, so that was seven children, or five children, and two adults, was it? No, we had seven children. Uh, seven children. No, they'd been, but, you know, we have to pay them now. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Billy, Desi, Jean, Sylvia, Hayley. Myself. Myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> seven, isn't it? One. No, Alfie. Or not Alfie. It was Billy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Daisy. Daisy. And Jean. Hey. Sylvia. Seven. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Can you remember? Uh, yeah, um, seven kids, yeah. That's a lot too. <coughs> and that's one of the things that shines through is a lot, you know, the families were so much bigger. Yeah. Uh, a insane. generation yeah. ago really. Uh, yeah. Two generations ago now, really. Yeah. Um can you remember um games you might have played or things you occupied yourself? Because you didn't I mean, these things homes didn't exist. Oh, no, it's a no, uh, no, you were lucky in some households if there were books and I mean life was spent keeping the house going and stuff, but as kids, can you remember back what Games you played well, we or where you went? We went out into the into the woods and made it's called them baby houses that time. Baby we, we houses, uh-huh. we baby houses uh-huh. we called them, and that's what we used to do make with a make a wee house with maybe a sheet of iron or something. Uh-huh. Get all everything in the teapots and kettles and you know, mm-hmm. that's it. So you're down in the woods then. Right? Down in the yeah, yeah that would yeah. be it. And then I spent most of the time when I was. Come from school, round the woods, looking for bird's nests. I love that. That was my favourite thing. Going out and getting, getting all the different bird's nests. Because remember, be the ones that were not occupied anymore, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and working with the donkey in the basket. And then, uh, well, that's when I was living with me, my aunt. She, 
when I'd come from school, I'd have to work the field bring in the donkey uh-huh. and we'd harness it up, put it in the cart and get a cross cut and a bow saw and a hatchet and away to the wood, me and my, my uncle, my grand uncle, and we used to put cartload of sticks and bring them home. Oh, what age were you then? I would have been about nine, but if yes. about that age. <laughs> Was that the house that went to Bangor? No, that, no, that's the that house that we flourished in. No, that's the house that was in this movie. What was the house that went to Bangor? That's the corridor in. I just remember Granny lived, but I lived in it too. Mm-hmm. Do you want to tell me more about it? Well, I don't, I, I don't mind much about it, you know, because I mustn't be that old when I was in it. Mm-hmm. I do mind being in it, because I made me father and no, my mother having big flocks of geese, mm-hmm. and uh, <clears throat> made my father get the man to kill a pig. I mm-hmm. mean that end of it, but I don't make much about. You no, know, I can't make much about that house. Uh-huh. I know was in it when my granny lived in it. Uh-huh. I know the house, and, well, every room in it. Like I was, I was in it when I was down there. As Can down you, there at Hollywood. So they make the rooms and things. So just for for context for the tape. This house was dismantled brick by brick, brick and then rebuilt. Stone, 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 stone wall. Everything yeah. part of it was taken and then put to the Austria Folk and Transport Museum in Bangor and can still be visited to this day, yes. which is fascinating. But your memories of it, so could you tell me about the size of it and the many rooms maybe it had? There was floors. The, the floors were like clay floors, was in it? I want to hear that. They yeah. were, yeah, you know, the yeah. like clay floors was in it. There was there was one, two, three bedrooms, and when you went into the front, there was a jam wall. You know these walls. Yes. There, there was a jam wall in it, and the uh, window in it, and there was a kind of a wee scullery uh-huh. down at the head, and the kitchen, like the living room, was called, but the kitchen it was all one. That time there was no mm-hmm. living room in mm-hmm. the kitchen, you know, it was the galba and the cream cook. In the cream cream yeah. fireplace now, yes. And it was, it was, it was thatched. I think it was thatched. It was thatched, yes. It was thatched. Can you remember any overpowering smells about it or the light or the darkness of it? or? Uh, no, there wasn't on? much light in it because there was only wee, wee mm. windows in it, you know, there wouldn't have been any lights in it. But uh, cooking, they don't all look bread cooking, they don't all the cooking in the, in the ovens. Mm-hmm. That's uh, outside, like it was done all in whitewash. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was a river just running just down mm-hmm. past the mm-hmm. side of it there. And what does it feel like? You've been visited then up at the, 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 the museum? Yes, I, like was up, it? I was up at it at the museum, yes. Were you with me? You were. Yeah. She thought you were dopey. She said she was. She, I, I, I lived in here, and I'm like, sure you okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure you did. No, no, I, I actually did. Completely <laughs> stepping back, but you would never. You'd be like, oh, you should. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, I think it's the floor. There's the floor. <laughs> The floor, t- the floor's good. Floor tiles were down uses. There were none of that at the time. No, well, that <laughs> wasn't. But that's probably more for easy to walk in and out. Yeah. Would you like there's none of that? <laughs> Solid clay floor. <laughs> what colour was the clay? It was kind of black colour, you know. Uh-huh. Like, you know, uh-huh. very dark floor. Because it was, it was definitely wasn't tiles like. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't. It's good to yeah. actually hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... What about school? Do you want to tell me something about school and maybe if how am I sort of mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah oh well I can circle back and, and um, so and um, stuff sort of just progressing from your youngest days and um you can you can go back and forward in this if you want but to try and go forward a bit on it so your youngest memories of um friends at school or what school was like and how the actual Florence Court potentially maybe related to your school in any shape where oh I Florence school it was. I don't know how many was that. It was a big school. Now, it wasn't a big school, but there was quite a lot of children at yeah. that time. Though, you know, they were in their log desks. And I had I had a patch with Joyce Moisley and Doris Moisley. You like, had a what? Joyce Moisley okay. was my pal oh, at school, yes. Joyce and then her sister Doris. Like, and they were my pals when we were at school uh-huh. together. We all we had an awful lot of different teachers when we were going uh-huh. to school. You know, they didn't stay in the length of time that we were going. 
with, with some sharp ones and some, <laughs> <laughs> some nice ones. But I kind of did the next food. I'm not really dying about it now, but... What age did you stay in school time? Fourteen. Fourteen, so I was going to get enough to know that, I suppose, too. Fourteen. Oh, Lord, yeah. you used to throw these a party, though, in the lady, didn't they? Huh? The party you were telling us about the party. You used to get thrown in a party by the Lord and the lady. Right, well, that's what our Sunday school, yes. When yeah. we were at school, we did... Uh, once a year, he threw, uh, you know, uh, they called at that time, fate. Uh-huh. For the school children, we marched from the school up to it. was on a Saturday, and all the ladies, Lady Kitty and Lady Frances and the old lady and the Lord, and all used to come down and had swings for us uh-huh. in, the, in the hay sheds, you know, when all the hay was out, mm-hmm. and seesaws, and they played games with us, and all we had a great day. I had tea, like, and sandwiches up in the oh, When you house. say tea, you now you describe tea. What was tea? It wasn't just a drink of tea, sure it wasn't. Uh, there was just a cup of tea, a cup of tea. Is that all? Yeah, and sandwiches. Oh, right, yes. Oh, we got our sandwiches, yes. like, all our treats now. Oh, what what was your treats? Well, it could have been sweets and uh-huh. different things. Bread, you know, biscuits and buns. And, and they were all made by the big house? Yeah. And yeah. did they have, like, games or activities set on for you for the faith? We had, down at the big, sh- at, the, at the sheds, uh-huh. at the hay sheds, we had... There were swings, uh-huh. they had them put up, the workmen must have put them up, and then we'd see saws. Uh-huh. And well, we had great times, you know, and run races. Uh-huh. We'd run in races, and the lords and ladies there used to be there with us, playing games with us. Uh-huh. So Lady Anne, Lady Kitty, Lady Frances, and Lady And Lady Anne, I didn't know any much about Lady Kitty now. Uh, they were they the younger ones of the, the yeah. Lord and Lady. Yeah, they were there. Mm-hmm. Oh, were they around the same age groups as you? Oh, no, no. Uh-huh. So you were fraternising with the elites? Oh, yeah. So you were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Yes, well, that was once a year we had the school kids. Uh-huh. So, you know, uh-huh. Did you ever get into the house? I was only, no, I know, I was what, only brought milk into the house mm-hmm. once. To and where, where, tell us about that then, where you went to to do that. And well, we. When the, the the fire was in the yard when my father did the milk and he had to weigh it and all and yeah. and I some of it didn't come out for so I brought it up to him. But you had to go through a yard and then go through the backyard of the big house, you know. Uh-huh. And through a big steps or a big long corridor. Near as long as there we walk the day, maybe <laughs> longer. Big long corridor into the kitchen. But I didn't know who the cook was share they were there, you know, at that time it was I didn't know who the workmen were, the uh-huh. work people that worked in it. They were all from Dublin and all mm-hmm. those, you know, the mates and all. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have known much about them, but I did know the, I left the milk in and I did know the laundry, you know, there's another yard then up at the very top, the all of the round house. This where the laundry was in that big yard. And then they used to have chopped the sticks and there used to be a big place for sticks for the big house. Man, they are chopping sticks. And this woman used to do the whole laundry for them. It's still there. You can go uh-huh. and see the uh-huh. whole. I did you go? Huh? Do you know? She did the. You know when you, the, when you look at it, you say, "My God, she had some hard to wash and nothing. There's no, there was no washing machines or nothing at that time. And the, the, the scrub board and a bit of uh, soap and." And all the washing she would have had to do for that, because all the girls and all stayed in the wind. Yeah, yeah. Was it a big household? It would have been a big well, was I don't know how many rooms was in it now, but you were through it, weren't you? Yeah. I'm talking in terms of like, um, so you maybe had, say, five of them that were the family members at different times were maybe there. Between banquets and balls, oh, and the yes, staff yes. they would have had. They used to have big shoots and pushed about a pool uh-huh. They used to have a big peasant shoot. Uh-huh. When I was going to school, they'd, they'd be there with the horse and carts, the man over the workman, who was a Mr. Johnson, and he was there with his carts. And they'd be full of rabbits and hares and deers mm-hmm. and pheasants, people, woodcock, you name it, uh-huh. that was in that cart. And that would be maybe the second or third cart that mm-hmm. when I went to school to was coming back. And what happened with the stuff? 
the big love. I don't know what the big love. They were all big loves came from Dublin and from England and all for this big shoot. So did they eat the food or did they take it away with them or well, part of well, the left. house? Or did you ever get any? No. no. I don't know what they done with it. Probably they, they said they used to keep the pheasants hanging for a week yeah. before they played yeah. them. I wouldn't have eaten them in a week's <laughs> time, but that's what they done. But I suppose they took a lot of these big lords would have took it away back home with them. Back some of it back with them again. Yeah. But the whole workmen was out baiting through the woods, you know, putting the pheasants out. They were all wild pheasants that time. There was no pheasants rare Aye. and rare at that time. And it was lovely. And didn't dare go and swipe one for yourself? <laughs> there was four of there was three there was three uh, gamekeepers there, I mean mm-hmm. you could do nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. No. Was there a hunt? You know, for the, the dogs, like a, a hunt, you know, where you have the hounds and stuff that were no. out for the hunt, so it was no. just the, no. the, the, the like the grouse beating and the pheasant beating and just the, 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 the workman was in mate they might have had dogs with them. To, to retrieve just yes, rather to retrieve than, them now, yeah. but they didn't they put no fox hunt or nothing no. No. Or, you know. But uh, that time, everything was kept, you know, they kept all them grey squirrels. i never seen a grey squirrel in my life till I was maybe going to, I could have been 40 years of age before i seen a grey squirrel. Really? No, they had no, no mink, no pine mark, no nothing like that in front of it. Just the red squirrel? Yeah, just the red squirrel. Right. That was mm-hmm. really interesting, actually. Yeah. On Foxes, no foxes. She didn't you know, know what a badger was, and you got, oh. you got to tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming home. I came through the through the pleasure grounds, which I shouldn't have been. You know, I, I shouldn't have been at the pleasure grounds. Didn't I touch What's it? the pleasure grounds? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I was the pleasure grounds. This was where the Lord had all his gardens. Oh, okay. You know, this was his place to go out private around that big house. <laughs> it was private. Oh, no one could go in there, but I used to do home that way in <laughs> school time. But I'd know he was coming because I'd hear the horse, the uh-huh. pony come and throb, and so as sure as you hear the pony throb and get in behind a hedge or something, because he would get a skate. <laughs> he would get so long. But I was coming that way, and this thing run out in front of me at this bridge at the rock, we used to call it, it was a big rock. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know what it was, it scared the life. It just stood and looked at me, and I didn't know what to do. So when it run, I run, I run home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I asked, uh, you know, the passage said that was a badger. Mm-hmm. And that was the first badger I ever seen in my life. It scared the life of me. It didn't stop you going back, though. <laughs> the deer were up in our big stag, is he? Oh, yeah, that was another day. I was out, I was out of the way up for a walk, riding the walks, where I was living, in the middle of the wood. And I, I was walking along and I, Oh, I was probably looking for a bush nest, and I could hear this terrible rock, and I said, what is that? And it, I was petrified, and I didn't know whether to go what way to go. You know, I didn't know what a deer rot is. A deer rot is. A stag rotten, and he had a whole pile of food yeah. on his roof. And I looked, and I could see them through the trees, and I took off. <laughs> I took off home, I tell you, it was a long time before I went back to Scare me. Oh, it scared me. Big horns are you done? I'm scared of them, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Indeed. But, uh, um, see, so you, you're saying about, um, I'm, I, I asked you a wee while ago about the rationing. Can you tell me something about the, the, the Yanks and the war years and stuff, your memories of that? Um, yeah, well, uh, I don't know, that wasn't too big that, but I, that's when I used to be going up to, when, uh, when I was in school, there were, um, we used to go marching up past the school, the Yankee soldiers, the, and, and droves of them, way up to the Keel Parks. That's where they were stationed. Uh, not the Keel Parks, but the, the Deer Park, way up where I lived in the Deer Park. Uh-huh. That was their main park. But then there was some of them parked in the Keel Parks, as they call it. Uh-huh. And when I was going up to, we used to go up to visit my aunt in where I, when I was living in that house down there at Tully, called it Tully Blanchard, with my mother. They were stationed there, and when we were living there, you could see the tanks came down the river. On, on the like tanks came down from Keely Park, down the river. What were they, what were they on? 
big tanks just down the river. Driving down the river. Driving down the river. You're joking. Yeah. And they came down as far as the bridge, they couldn't get any further, and then they used to have told them back up again. I mean that. That's crazy. Yeah. Trains and live rounds in the deer park. Aye, they were. That was up in the deer park. This was in the key park, so you know. Yeah, the rest of this, yes. Yeah. Tully Mill. Tully Mill. No. Look, there was a big field there, and it was full of all the American soldiers. And the tanks there. Mm-hmm. So that's what mm-hmm. they were doing the river all the time. I can't believe that, actually. <laughs> A lot of surprise. No. <laughs> well, no, they had big chains on. Yeah, them, you see, they yeah. could go yeah. through anything. Yeah, you see, to stop yeah. them. But, uh, I mean, that part of it already. And did they impact on your lifestyle whenever you were living in and around the area? No, no, not weird. well. Where would we get from them? No, you wouldn't see much of them now. Mm-hmm. Up and round now, when they were up in the. Deer Park, it was the main, there was a lot of them there were, mm-hmm. that's where the train did all mm-hmm. there, the Deer Park. But I wouldn't mean much about it, because it wouldn't mean too bad, or you know, it wouldn't mean too old, I'd take it yeah. like that when they yeah. were stationed there. You weren't chasing for a young <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, that folk. <laughs> no, no. You can see what joys they had to bring. Just have a key and cottage and stuff like that. Cane, or the cane cottage, is it made from cane? It was made from cane, yes, it was a cane cottage, it was made from cane. And it was where when they were out, the lords and them used to be out shooting, we used oh. to go in there and have tea. Where was this? Was this on the estate? Oh, yeah, the estate? estate, yes, down there, down beside the rockery. You know. Was it like a hunting house or something? No, or it was just a, a cane, uh, just a wee cane cottage, you mm-hmm. know, uh, when they used to go in, there was nothing much in it. They used to have tea, you know, mm-hmm. they used to bring it from the big house down with them. I suppose when they're having a rest or a uh-huh. snack in a in the cane cottage. Cane cottage. Cane cottage. Where was it? You know where the rockery is, where I've seen the badger? Yeah. Well, it's over, uh, just across there, and over a bridge. And the cane cottage. Mm-hmm. I could bring you to these places. Mm-hmm. I... <laughs> Yeah. I know I know every inch of plants, but I'm in to say for names now, if anything else uh-huh. on, I can use to know everything about it. Different things to do. I'm going to tell you we dander about it before you find. Dander? We dander around. No, I am not. on a... On a, a do you remember, um, so what year were you born? 34. 34. So can you remember the big freeze in 1947? The big snow, big snow, big freeze. There's one in sixty something, but there was the one in nineteen forty seven that has been very much highlighted on, on on other occasions by other people. I was just wondering if you had any personal memories of it at all. Mm-hmm. No, so you might have been too young to be fair. But you might have been far too young actually. I mean, big snows are right, but just can't mm-hmm. mean much of that one. Mm-hmm. And when you say big snows, like it was like everywhere was just a blizzard. Yeah, yeah, I know they had chains on lorries that time. Mm-hmm. We used to put chains on lorries to put the big snows. I can't find any. What age would it have been? 47? Mm-hmm. You've been very young and it might not have necessarily affected you greatly. No, no it might have been you seen. In the forest, it might have been. Yeah. Just if it's not yeah. getting there's a lot of trees, it's not going to be. A lot of it lying, yeah. you know, getting that far yeah. down to be a fact. But uh, not really. What the hell is coaching in the, the ghost oh, story? Yes, yeah. tell us those. That's, tell us those. They're the well, ones that's funny what I heard now. Months. I don't yeah. know anything much about it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the story she used to be told. You remember, uh, we used, people used to come out. Remember, we were asked to send what she used to do in a night when people used to come yeah. out. Yeah, and used to be ghost stories. Um, this is a bit like your far side stories, yeah. maybe. Yeah, well, this was supposed to be this headless coachman. He came from in a scale and was supposed to be coming. He was going to see him go through the town and heard him going through the town, you know. And he was come, he had it. He came up through, well, through Frontscourt and up through the black, he came past the black post and on up the James's gate. And uh, he went up through the gate and straight up to. Rockfield House, that's a big house, Rockfield House they called it, and um, that's where he stopped, 
but he was supposed to be a headless coachman and two old black horses. Now, I, do, I wouldn't believe it, no headless. Well, yeah. But this is what Billy Ford used to tell us. And who was Billy Ford? Oh, he was one of the gamekeepers. And you'd have been sitting in the house and these would have been the stories you'd have been oh, hearing? Oh, he used to tell all the stories, but uh-huh. I wouldn't mind them now. Like, <laughs> when you were kids, you wouldn't have read them. Oh, sure. But I mind them telling about this headless coach. Because uh-huh. I, mean, I used to walk up with there, I often thought I heard him. If it was usually around 12 o'clock, the city always came at 12 o'clock. Banshees were having a festival. No. What about the Banshees? Were there ghosts or. Oh, well, if you listen to that man I'm telling you about Billy Ford, there's a ghost every 20 (laughs) yards in the the woods. Because I I was petrified if I was walking up them woods at dark at all. I would be. Because he had a ghost at every corner and every place. And you didn't know what about it. I've never been over the door to the believe the half. I know. Maybe to keep his from the night coaching at night and stuff. <laughs> well, we wouldn't be coaching when my father would do a wee bit of coaching at night, I suppose. <laughs> Salmon coaching. Oh. Yeah. So just um, going to ask, uh, you just mentioned food there, and that's something I haven't actually really asked you about. What was the food like that you, in comparison to what you do today, in terms of food, Everything was cooked. I can't remember. Did we talk about food at the start? No. So I know you'd have, you'd have cooked everything on the range and, and in the house and, and stuff, but how much of a difference? Do you never remember going without? No. And you never mind going without. You always had a good, yeah. good, good. And your 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 mother was a a, a real cook, was she? Or? Yeah, well, she. We never wanted breakfast. My father used to, we used to get a ton of potatoes uh-huh. from there, and yeah. then my father always set potatoes, cabbage, uh-huh. carrots, yeah. everything that was could be set was set. And we used to have, then had a roll pig, uh-huh. bacon, bacon and cabbage for it was lovely, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and that time it was bacon, mm-hmm. some bacon there, it was bacon that time as well. Um, because you fed the pig on your scraps of the house, you know, with, you know along with what meal you bought to give them. Mm-hmm. So, they all felt different now compared mm-hmm. to that time. But my mother done all the bacon, she done all the bacon. And then at Holly Eve, we done lobster. And where? Hol- Holly Eve. Holly Eve. Holly Eve. Holly Eve. Just Halloween. Oh, Halloween. 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 And can you explain your version of box day? Oh, mm-hmm. yes. Go yes. for it, yes. please. I want to hear, I want to hear about it. <laughs> the box day, we great sports. My mother, well, she used to do all the work with them. When you're young, you didn't take no interest in it, you know, in the boxing and the boiling of it and the cooking of them fried. Sure, but I do make me own box day. She used to queue up and queue up. There's some stolen and hidden and all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your recipe. <laughs> Give us your recipe. <laughs> the, 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 the plate or a box, you know. Well, I don't have, I just do it, just, I just guess everything. I don't have way enough of okay. But they say they make boxes half and half. Half and half. Half of oil spots and half of grated spots. Uh-huh. Just half and half. Uh-huh. If you were making three pounds, just three pounds of each, you know, mm-hmm. boil them and mash them and then mix them together. When you grate your potatoes, you grate them and, and then when you throw the water off, the whole starch is under that water, so you keep that and put it into your box to when you're mixing it. And you mix it with flour. Get the two, mix the grate in and all, and just put it into horlies. I just do it with spurs. And boil it. Holy. Around. Oh, uh, around. Holy. Around. And you boil it for about three quarters of an hour. Boiling water. Mm-hmm. And that's your box. Eh? We got that at Halloween. Mm-hmm. At Easter, it was the only time we really got eggs either. Mm-hmm. We got maybe two or, th- two or three eggs each when we were at Easter. Actually, eggs, not chocolate eggs. <laughs> no, no, not chocolate eggs. <laughs> Real eggs. Real eggs, <laughs> yes. And we used to get the wind bushes, you know, the flowers of the winds and come cool. into the water and colour them. And that was a treat. Mm-hmm. Them was all treats now. 
for children nothing. And you, you got a treat, you could get a nice holly, and then at Christmas, you got your, maybe, well, it was mostly goose we used yes. to have, or duck, chicken. We didn't have nine turkeys much now. I don't think turkey would have been just such a big thing as in the past. It would no, have been the goose or the more goose, the yes, duck, especially the goose, duck, yeah, quite uh, chicken. Mm-hmm. That was our treat at Christmas, and what other sad would bring you? Know, there was no big treats like they're getting nowadays. And did the big house do anything at Christmas for you? Mm-hmm. Just got that Sunday school treat. Yeah, that's all you got. Mm-hmm. Big parties for. The adults or community, no, just the children? They made a big party for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You didn't sneak up to the window on any occasion when they were all in their finery or anything? <laughs> no. The lady didn't really dress up. No, she <laughs> wasn't the lady in the skill wasn't in the style or nothing, you know, she was just an ordinary girl. You know, she to go to school, up to Sunday school. And, well, she didn't go to see Sunday school, but George came in on before we leave Sunday school, with him and her at the top. Yeah. We in the church. We walked the church. We walked to church every Sunday. You know? We didn't go in a car or nothing. Their son actually went there. Uh, he started today before he died. Lord Michael. Well, well, Lord Michael took it over when we were all day. He, he changed everything. He got rid of all the horses. Yeah. And <coughs> he got rid of all the horses and he got in tractors. Just into the modern farming. You know, it's going to be the same if it's not. And I don't know what he had at that time employed, because I wasn't in Frenchford at that time, you know, when he mm-hmm. was in you know. And uh, he was changing all over just to the modern way of walking in when he did suddenly. When, what, what year would that have maybe been around? No, it was the only one day. In the 1960s, it would be. In the 1960s, roughly, around that time. Yeah. That's it, it would have been in the 60s. Mm. Well, did you leave left, left in trust in 56? Left in 56? They would have been also staying home, remember? So he, he would have died then, and then his cousin got it? The young lord lived in Coley's house. That's that house down below. The young lord lived in Coley's house. He didn't live in the big house. And he lived in the yeah. the, the old lord and the, and the lady lived there. They still would be still alive, of course. I don't think he didn't move up to the big house. He stayed in down in the police house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he had his own maids and things down there. But he died when he was 33. That's really young. Really young. his cousin, did you say that? No, I just left with his cousin. I don't know they, whether they farmed it for a while or not, I don't know, but his cousin took over it. Um, he was still, he was in the name of Cole too. He was married to some American millionaire. Mm-hmm. And then they left and went away to Scotland. Mm-hmm. They took everything away with them, you know, over to Scotland. Took everything out of the big house, all mm-hmm. the furniture, and took it with them. But when she died, she not that long dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she really mm-hmm. she had all had to go. She went it all back. To her. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's how then the trust was able to open it up to be in a, a, a yeah. national trust yeah. property. That makes great sense. Actually, she that's brought nice. it. She said it was all way really back to yeah. her, to her again, to the house again. Even to the two big guns, that's the most stupid guns yeah. sitting outside the front. So you can talk to them, was it? They're all back now. Mm-hmm. 